just wanted to uh, give you a bit of a peek into the new functionality coming out in Far Cry 4.0. One of the first things I want to sort of highlight today is uh, this concept of Far Cry code libraries. Uh, this is a nice discrete piece of code that you can drop into any Far Cry application and see a kind of a seamless integration of that code directly with whatever it is that you're doing. So you can do this for all sorts of things. Uh, but we wanted to choose a couple of complicated uh, library scenarios to really kind of flesh out the framework and make sure it was behaving as we expected. So one of the libraries we decided to tackle was a Google Maps library. So your classic kind of Google Map, uh, typical sort of exciting embedded map, which you can plot a variety of different plot points on. You can select the plot, po plot points it zooms. Uh, and so on. This is a map for highlighting the uh, WebDU conference location. This is a conference we're running here in Sydney in March. It's got all, all kinds of nice little features, zoom levels, uh, the ability to switch to satellite, a kind of an inline mini map that you can see here for zooming around uh, on a, a more sort of wholesale level, uh, and so on. Pretty comprehensive uh, implementation. So uh, how, how difficult would this be to actually implement inside Far Cry? Well, let's take a look. So today, really, I just want to showcase uh, how this library looks and behaves inside Far Cry. And we'll perhaps look at uh, how the library was actually built a little bit later on in, a, in another sort of session. So when you initialize the application again, what you end up having is a, uh, a tab which appears directly inside the Far Cry web top. And this tab gives your contributor uh, all sorts of access to the different aspects of Google Maps. In our fairly simple implementation, and this is really just a, an early build, uh, sort of a beta build, if you like, of uh, Google Maps, uh, we have the map itself and also a variety of locations which you might want to plot onto the map. So let's have a look first at uh, some of the locations, make sure we've got some locations and places to go uh, before we start looking at the map in detail. So I've got a couple already here, but I thought it might be worthwhile to uh, actually just sort of add a new one to give you a look at um, how that edit interface works uh, and so on. So everything you're seeing here is now part of the library. It's not part of the sort of Far Cry core build or the project that I'm working on. It's, it's part of this discrete library. But it looks and feels as though it's directly, and in fact it is, directly integrated with the application itself. So I'm going to put in a quick title. I might uh, put uh, Demon's Account Department, which is a couple of doors down. And I'll skip the little location description because this is really the stuff that just appears, a little bit of text that appears in that bubble that pops up. I'll copy something in there in a moment. In a moment. There's two options. You can have uh, a geocoded physical address or alternatively you can key in the actual latitude and longitude. If you're fortunate enough to uh, live in a location of the world which has uh, geocoded addresses, then this is pretty much all you need to put in place and it will automatically work out the longitude and latitude for you. So let me just quickly uh, tap this in, concentrate on uh, putting this together for a moment. New South Wales, uh, Australia, let me uh, make sure the commas are right. Okay, that should be good. And I might just quickly take this and use this as part of uh, the, the bubble that's going to appear uh, next to the plot point. So I'll just copy and paste that into place and maybe format it a little bit. in a couple of carriage returns, make it look pretty, uh, and away we go. So really nothing to an individual plot point at all. I'll save that, let that go into the database, and it, it really enters a library of all the different uh, locations that we have uh, for plotting on our maps. And so let's go and create a map and see how that might look. So I've got a couple of maps already, so I'll, I'll start a brand new map. And uh, I think the scenario I want to go with is uh, support centers for, for Demon Far Cry support, if you like. So let's have a, a title for the map called Support Centers. And I'm going to click on this little open library option, which is another really cool feature of um, the Far Cry, what we call form tools uh, features, which allows us to pretty much provide pickers and the like for any uh, record or database table in the system. We'll talk more about that in another session again. I'll drag and drop uh, a couple of these locations directly uh, onto my library. Close that window. You can now see I've got these locations in place. We've currently got it coded so that the very first uh, location is the, the kind of center plot point that Google will default to. 
So you can reorder these however you like, just drag and drop to reorder a library entry. A couple of things we might need uh, to specify to implement the map. First of all, obviously, uh, some dimensions for this map. And I'll put in a height, of maybe 500 pixels, and a width of, say, 400 pixels. Uh, again, we've got quite a few choices here. We can uh, choose which controls should appear on the map. I think I'll leave the, the map satellite hybrid option. I have a large map, large control. Uh, I might increase the zoom level to 15. I'll put it on one of these little over, overview map controls. This is the little map that appears in the bottom right-hand corner. Make that 100 pixels by 100 pixels and save. And it's literally all there is to it. The only thing left for me to do now is to somehow embed this directly inside uh, the website itself. So we have another feature inside Far Cry, which has been around for many years, called the publishing rule. So I've got a standard uh, everyday web page uh, sitting inside my uh, demo Far Cry site here, and it's a pretty blank sort of page. If I'm uh, logged in and I have appropriate permissions, I have this kind of floating menu here which gives me additional options. One of which is to enter this, uh, this mode called design mode. A little bit of debugging on there. Uh, so if I select this kind of area with the spanner, it, uh, it's literally telling me this is a, a section of the template which I can configure as a contributor with these things called publishing rules. So for the sake of Google Maps, there happens to be a Google Maps publishing rule. A little bit of help there tells you uh, how that works. I'm going to add that to my container. You'll see it gives me a variety of little options here. I might put in an intro like um, maybe heading style three and what we call it, service centers. Obviously we could do anything here. We could have picked up the title uh, that was coming from uh, the Google map uh, content item itself uh, and so on. So let's go in, choose from the library. And again, same sort of library picker that you see throughout Far Cry now. And I'm gonna choose the support centers and I'll close that window and save my rule. So that's gone in, it's instructed this template to have that particular feature displayed in that region of the page, very straightforward. And so now I'll just turn off design mode and have a look and see what we've got. So pretty cool. There's our map, it's a fully functional uh, Google map, uh, exactly what you'd expect. You can zoom down to see uh, those two little offices and if I switch to the satellite you can see you might even be able to see me waving waving from the window there at uh, Demon headquarters in Elizabeth Bay Sydney Australia anyway that's all for now uh, talk to you later bye